Folks, today we're on Pickwick Lake hand grabbing some catfish. Uh, this is our sixth annual trip up, um, fishing with some legislative friends of mine. Uh, we got our guides right over here. We're looking in some boxes trying to find some fish, and uh, it's great weather today on Pickwick Lake. I hope it goes great. Uh, the guys ran the boxes last week and had several fish, so we got the legislators up to let them try their luck at it. This is a trip that we do each year for we invite all legislators and senators uh, to our beautiful Pickwick. Uh, we think it's our, our, our jewel in the, in the north part of the state, so we love to invite uh, the rest of our colleagues. And what we do is we give an opportunity to see what the terrain is like, what the lake is like, um, and an opportunity to uh, catch catfish. And as Bubba will tell you, we don't use poles here, we use hands. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a rush, it's an adventure. Uh, every legislator center that's ever come, they enjoy it. Uh, we have some repeats. And uh, when, you know, and our goal is to have even more. Not only do they get the opportunity to fish, but we get an opportunity to show them our districts. Representative Vince Mangold just caught the first catch of the day. Uh, it was about a 20 pound catfish. Turn this way, Vince. There you go. <laughs> What's that, Jeff? It was better than what I thought it was. Uh, this is my second year of doing it. Uh, we had some uh, good catches last year, and hopefully, we're going to beat. I think we caught one close to 40 pounds last year, so we're looking for about a 45 or better. Just picture a four-sided box with a hole in it. It's wooden, and that's what they're that's what they're checking right now. They cut a hole in the top with a saw, and it's probably 12-inch hole. And the one guy, you can tell when he goes underwater, he's taking his foot and he's checking the box, what we call checking. He's taking his foot and sweeping around in there to see if there's any fish. And he'll tell immediately if there's a fish. One will either hit him on the leg or bite him or something. Well, he don't want to take his leg out of the hole because the fish will swim out real quick. So he keeps his leg in there. He'll tell Vince when to go in, and Jeff will take his foot out if somebody takes their arm and goes in, and that way the fish can't escape. Hold him, God. Hold him, God. That is fish. That is a... He wins. That's 30, 35 right there. Outstanding work, Corley. Uh, somebody shoot Caroline that picture. Old primitive way, the people used to do it in, like in creek runs, they'd do logs and stuff. They would go in a, like a log, a hole in those fish, but this is more, I guess, more modern. And it's, uh, they're spawning, laying their eggs, and then the, uh, the male will go in and guard the eggs, and that's what you're probably gonna get today is more male fish. <laughs> I love running a boat more than doing anything. When you're in the water this deep, you have to go down and go under. You know, if you could keep your chin above water, there'd be nothing to it. But, uh, you know, you run a, just think about a lot of things when you're under the water, and sticking your hand in a box. <laughs> you know, there's not certain what's going to be in there. I think with anybody, it frightens you because it's dark. Um, it, it's a box you're putting your hand into, so it's the unknown, but it's the adrenaline rush. Once you touch that fish and once that fish starts flopping, everybody wants to get a hold of it. You know, it's, uh, it's a great experience. It, you know, I encourage it. We have a lot of people who do it locally here. Uh, it's a weekend. Uh, a lot of families do it as a hobby. So um, like this gentleman that's our guide today, he has 120 boxes along the river. And uh, there are others that have different, uh, you know, like little coves and things like that, because you, you do place those in, in sandy or shallow uh, waters. And, you know, it's a sport. <laughs> it's a sport for us. You know, to see him come up with the courage, to, uh, it's really bigger than he could have, <laughs> you know. But, uh, he did a fantastic job. So uh, he, he was determined to make it happen, and he made it happen. This year. Oh, look at there. Hey, y'all hold up. Let's scooter, Phil. Hey. <laughs> I got him. 
Got him. Seven foot right here. All right, Brent. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We're poor up here. We can't afford riding reels, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was pretty cool. I, really exciting. That, you know, at first he did, I couldn't figure out what was the uh, where the head was, and he wouldn't bite. But uh, when you manage to get your hand in there and start pulling on him, and he gives you that resistance, uh, you know the fight's on. So that's that's the cool part about it. So massive fish. As I was pulling him out of the box, just incredibly strong he was. How he could just pull back out back into the box. So. Great experience. That's a good look. He will. Wow. Away from my face. Mimi, hold on. Wait for Mimi to take pictures. Turn around. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a good one. Over on this side. A little bigger than I thought he was. Look at him. Yeah. Look at his tail. 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 Look